Hey, you, pig. Hey, get off of there. I need that for this snapshot overview. Get down. Yes, I actually do need him to get down. Shut your mouth, you. No. 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 Hello everyone, I'm Timothy McSwain, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot Overview. This is for 14W19A, and um, for those of you that think my review, if you think that these reviews are not necessary, you already know about all this stuff, blah, 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 that's fine. I'm not making you watch. I appreciate it if you are watching, but you don't have to, okay? How long has this been on the ground? Okay, now we've got that out of the way, welcome back to another Snapshot Overview. My name is Timothy McSwain. And we are here, back in the world that I first did uh, 1.8 snapshot overviews in. Um, the last time I did one for 14W18A, it had an issue where it wouldn't load worlds that had item frames in it. And that was fixed in 14W18B, but I don't normally make reviews for more than one of the versions into the same week. So as you can see from my F3 menu here, it is 14W19A. Um, nothing here has really changed. There's a lot of new information here. <laughs> But, um, I mean, it's all new for 1.8, but it's not new for this snapshot. Um, what we're gonna, I'm going to cover several things in this overview. The first one is another little change to slime blocks. Um, before, I covered that if, you sta if you're standing on one and, you, and, you active, and it, a piston pushes it up, it'll launch you. Before, it didn't do that. Um, I mean, it did that in 1418, but um, before that, it didn't do anything. Um, so that functionality was added to in this snapshot by making it so you can also push yourself sideways with these things. If I can, there, see it pushed me. Um, I'm actually going to grab some redstone and dust so I can do this from farther away. I mean, so I can do it from closer. And, um, as I saw in, um, Seth Bling's video, if you use ice or... In this case, uh, packed ice, which is compressed ice, if you're using the, the UK um, English version of Minecraft. Uh, I don't know if you can place a button on packed ice. Can you? You can. Yay. Okay. It'll push you <laughs> farther. And that could be really cool to use for several different things. Um, what's really cool about this also is that you um, can still use it to oh. <laughs> ah. pick up the redstone dust. There we go. You can still use it to uh, no, stay up there. To I know how to do this, I swear. See, you can use it to push items. Now, it's a little bit glitchy. See, like, right there, it looks like I actually duplicate... Oh, no, it got rid of the redstone dust underneath the block. Oh, because it went out and it moved that block back. That's why I did that. It didn't duplicate it. But it, you can see it, um, it, it's glitchy sometimes with some items, but otherwise it works. And um, the same thing goes for arrows. Um, before, you know, um, in my last overview, I covered it. If you shoot arrows into a slime block and hit the hit a uh, button to activate the piston it launches those arrows in the air and um, that same thing works with if you put them sideways it's basically as you would expect there's still some glitches with the way they act when they're being flung but it all still works um, Let's see, and um, I'll link below if I remember to uh, Seth Bling's video where he explains how you can actually launch up and then time it just right to launch something up and then out and it arcs. It's really cool. Um, there also, in addition to those slime blocks, there have been some changes to something that I never actually mentioned before in my videos because I didn't cover the, the review that um, I mean the snapshot that added them. But there's this thing where we can do a world border, 
and you can see the usage of it there. Um, before there was set and center, but damage and warning are new. So if we do world border center, um, let's do pull up this first. World border center uh, 258 81. Negative 391. Yeah, I, I, for, I was thinking it probably didn't include Y. There you go. So now it's set the world center to right where I'm standing right here. Not your spawn point, just the world center. So now you can go world border set. You can see there's size and blocks and time and seconds. So you can do 10. And it will make now the world. Now you notice all the mobs outside are taking damage. I think I probably just killed the dog over there. Dang it. I'm sorry, dog. Um, and when you get close to it, you can see this. That's the that's the warning thing. See how it looks? It gets like right around the border. It's kind of like in Call of Duty when you get shot and you're about to die. <laughs> when you get close to that, it the border turns a little bit red, and you can't actually walk past it even in creative mode. You can kind of walk past it like this, but you can't go on the block next to it. And that goes all the way up to build height limit and all the way down to um, bedrock. And um, in addition there, if, if I say I want to set it to 20 and I want to have a delay of 10 seconds, it will grow over the course of 10 seconds. So when 10 seconds are done, it will be at 20 for the world border. And that is really cool also. And again, you can do that too to set it back to, uh, you can set it back to like 5 in uh, in four seconds. And it will go a lot faster back. And you can see it's red because it's going in closer. And see, I am now actually outside the world border, but I can't move outside this block that I'm currently in. And if I was in survive right now, I'd be taking damage. I believe it's a it's a really a lot of damage really really quickly. But um, once you're back inside the world border, you can run around freely. Um, I think the um, final idea for this stuff is probably going to have to do with it. you can go outside the world border, but you take damage because that's what the damage does. If you set it to damage. You can uh, use a buffer of, I think, like how many blocks or how many spaces or like buffer 10 and amount 0.5. So it'll take half a heart of damage. I don't know what the, oh, amount 0.5. So that says that you'll take 0.5 hearts of damage whenever you leave this area. Now you can't leave this area be right now, but I'm, that's why I'm thinking that they're probably going to change the way this works because um, it wouldn't make much sense to keep it this way for that. So um, the last part of this that's also new is world border warning and that is like you can do uh, time two seconds and then it'll warn you, uh, the warning from the outside will be when you're two seconds away from the border. See how it turns red there. Um, so if I set this back to move, uh, world border set five and 10 seconds to move, then as it's coming in, you're going to see the borders of my screen start to turn red, which is hard to tell when the whole screen is red, it's two, two seconds away from me. And that's saying, um, you probably should get back in there really quick. See, now I could do that because it was right on the edge, but... It's still buggy. They've still got some stuff to work out, but that's the way this works. Um, world better border set. Um, I, now, the problem I find here is that I don't know of any way to release the world border. Um, if maybe it's always there, I don't know. But now you see that that's still there somewhere. So I think they need to add a way to remove that world border unless it still exists. Like maybe even in a new world it exists out there at a certain point. Because I know there's a certain point where you can't go any further. But I'm not quite sure where that is. But anyway, it'll be fine for right here. Uh, we could even do like 256. If we do that over five seconds, we won't be able to see it come in, but I doubt it. Um... So 200, if we go 256 blocks out, we will start to see that border. It's basic stuff. I, I know I already explained enough of that that you hopefully should get it at this point. There it is right there. See? So this, I think I'm going to leave it like this. You can see, um, unless, let me try this. World border, you guys are learning with me right here. Reset. 
No, there's none. Um, so I hope really hope they add an ability to set it back. Because right now there is none. Um now I talked a couple updates ago also about spectator mode, and that has also received an update. And for that, if we go uh game mode three is adventure mode, right? Oh, that's what we want, right? No. <laughs> Sorry, what am I thinking? Four. Um, no, it is three. Yeah, so this is spectator mode. This is where you can go down into the blocks and look around. And which could actually be useful for even survival worlds. Because like I said, you can find secret areas in the world or whatever. And um, I haven't actually tested it since that snapshot. I haven't gone back and looked at it. Where's Where did that pig go? Here he is. Um, I believe it might be a little bit less buggy now. You know, you can see that from the pig's point of view again. Of course, he's not moving. It would be helpful if he would move. But I'm sure he's not going to. Um, <laughs> so that's the pig's point of view. He's facing there. Oh yeah, summon. So if we um and and there's still some really weird effects. Excuse you. <laughs> it's hard to do this kind of stuff when they're all, you know, leaving. Oh, am I in peaceful? I'm in difficulty normal. It might be because of my game mode. Let's see. If I go game mode creative, summon Enderman. There he is. And then we just go back to game uh, game mode three, and he just disappears. Lovely. <laughs> Not quite sure what the deal is with that, but anyway, I was I was just going to show you some parts of it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway. Um, they added some new stuff to that, and that is if you press any of the number keys, you get this new dialog. And there's teleport to player, you select it, and then click, like, if you want to select one, you click one, and then you click one again, and it'll select that area. And then you can say, let's teleport to TimMC94, which I obviously can't do because it's me, but it'll have all the different players listed here. And nine is to close the menu. And you can do that for here for teams, but there's no team set up. So that won't work either because of that. But if I was on a multiplayer server, it would be a lot easier to... Um, to do that, uh, if I go here and do, let's do scoreboard teams add OPs and um, teams. I forgot that. this now has been a while. Option. See, uh, see friendly invisibles. That's also for a. Uh, Right here, by the way, that is for um, people in spectator mode. If they're friendly, if you're if they're on the same team as you, they will show up in like vaguely, like really hard to see, but they're still there. Uh, la la la. And then see if you can do stuff like that, and it will make it so that. Um, well, you see, I'm invisible now, but um, it basically means that now if I press these buttons, I can do two, and um, it doesn't look like there's teams because I'm in this mode. But if I go game mode C, you can see um, I, I should have a, uh, is it, or did they get rid of that? There was a while where it would show up above your head even for you, but it looks like they got rid of that. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video, but I'm, um, I'm telling you basically... that um that has been updated see like you can't see teams right now but you can uh still see players all that stuff it's totally cool i saw a skeleton over here and he left it's like none of the mobs want me to show show how to uh how this all works which is annoying 
Life as a chicken. Oh. <laughs> this chicken. Life as this chicken. Okay, um, so I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I hopefully this video didn't go too much too long. Um, I don't want it to go. I don't want these to go very long. They're supposed to be pretty short. So hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you um, don't care about these videos, then don't bother telling me in the comments because I already know some people don't. But you're welcome to leave a dislike if you really want to. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again in my next episode.